Jim Candy, Part 4, Chapter 2. The D-ball kicked in Thursday. I was doing my usual set of squats. I'd reached the last ones, the ones that always burned like hot iron, and I breezed through them. I was able to do one more complete set before the fire came. I went over to the free weights and did some presses, and it was the same thing. After that, I did calf raises and deadlifts and hit the cable machine for rows. I was looking around for something else to do when Peter came over. It kicked in, I said softly. I'm sure it did. Pretty awesome, isn't it? You're on the train now. You'll be surprised how fast it moves. He paused. Go home, Mick. Eat, sleep. When you come tomorrow, I'll have a whole new workout schedule for you. I drove home, rap music blasting. I was on such a high that I reached for my cell phone to call Drew and tell him before it hit me that I couldn't tell Drew or anyone on the team anything, ever. So here we have Mick and he started the D-ball and he feels like he's already seeing like the results. He feels like his body is changing a little bit in terms of feeling it in his system. And he's so excited that he wants to call his friends and yet he realizes he can't. He can never confide in his friends or anyone else on the team about this ever. And so he has isolated himself from his friend group, from his support system um, by taking these. And again, you have to think about this guy, Peter from Popeyes. I mean, what is sleaze bag to offer this to a 16 year old? Like what kind of person does that? Do you even care about this kid at all? The next day, I spotted Peter by one of the elliptical machines, showing an older guy how it worked. I was anxious to talk to him, but Peter stayed with the old guy for 20 minutes before he finally came over. Let's go in the back, he said. Once we were sitting down, he pulled out three typed pages and laid them down in front of me. This is your program from now on. The days of the week were written across the top of each page. Underneath were the focus muscle groups, and underneath that, he'd listed the specific lifts I was do to do along with the reps. Monday and Thursday were for my back and my legs. Tuesday and Friday, it was my chest and my shoulders and my arms. Wednesday and Saturday, he had me working everything. I couldn't believe how detailed it all was and how many reps he expected me to do. How come you didn't give me anything like this before? I asked. You weren't taking D-ball before. You couldn't have done it. So in addition to supplying him with the D-ball, Peter also gives him a very rigorous workout because now his body can handle more. But still, how far is too far and how much is it this guy Peter just in it for the money? Does he even care about Mick? <laughs>